they're all okay. Um, so, <laughs> another video from me, a bit of a very late night slash very early morning. It's, um, what time is it here? Let me just have a look. Give me one second. Ten past two in the morning. Um, but I've been uh, busy trying to get things done, things that I needed to do, um, which is why I've, I've not done this video earlier on today. Uh, and it's another unboxing video. Uh, if you've not seen one of my videos um, until now, it is mostly unboxing ones that I do on this channel. And the one that I've got uh, to do now is for this month's scroller box, uh, the one for August 2022. There have been reported some postal strikes in the UK um, around about this time period, so that might be why they've made sure that everybody's boxes have got out uh, within a, a reasonably good time frame, i.e. it's not as close to the end of the month as it sometimes is. There's, there's about a week left of this month. So, uh, <laughs> I've also got some stuff that I've worked on using last month's supplies and I haven't got them close to hand or else I'll show you um, but that was some bottles of um, acrylic inks and they were interesting to use a uh, bit of a villain to uh, wash out of my palette if I happened to let them dry uh, I ended up leaving it soaking overnight on one occasion and uh, scrubbing it really hard next day and I've got most of the ink out of it so you know it's reasonably okay. So yes, here we go. The August 2022 scrawler box and um, I'll show you in a little while what I did with um, those supplies from last month but one thing I have found out, uh, I'm not very good at doing flowers from photos one of them things isn't it okay so opening it up this is what we see to start with and I'll start with the stuff that's underneath the package um, and the tissue paper first off okay so we have the August 2022 scrawler zine and we've got picture of what we've got in the box which I will come to in a bit. Uh, we've got the Q&A with this month's featured scroller artist who is Julie Avisar. Um, the, the artwork that we've got from her is uh, this one, like a, um, a landscape. Um, so she's born in London and now based in Israel She's primarily a landscape artist with drawing as her main medium. Uh, being in nature revitalises her senses and provides her with her greatest inspiration. She's always been curious about the wonders of the natural world and every season's unique personality, from the texture of a desert plant to the colours of an autumnal forest. Uh, with a degree in interior design from Chelsea College of Arts, London, her work, whatever the medium, drawing, graphic design, interior design, has reflected her interest in concepts of space and place and how we interact with them. Uh, she's interested in creating intimate and dreamlike scenes which draw the viewer into another world. And we have got links for her Instagram and her website on here as well. So I'll pop those in the um, information box downstairs. And if anybody wants to look at further examples of her work you'll be able to do that. These are the pictures that we've got as the illustration for the Q&A with her. Let's see then we've got some scroller tips and things to try with um, the oil pastels that's in this month's box. That's uh, going to be an interesting thing because I've, um, I've never tried oil pastels before. I'll uh, 
to see what I can come up with uh, with with them. Uh, we've got the art, some um, artist's advice as well, so uh, that'd be uh, interesting. Uh, the scroll gallery is from the June 2022 box, which, if you remember from me doing it, it was the the really bright markers and the. Um, prompt uh, was Electric Dreams and these are what we have as examples of uh, people's submitted artworks. So yeah, some of them are quite good, interesting. Um, we've got a scroller extra which is the magic of oil pastels and a little bit of info behind the artwork there and obviously because it's a box of um, mystery supplies there's no what's the word I'm looking for there's no hints no spoilers towards what we'll be getting um, in the September box right, so let's get this, uh, this package open see what we've got inside Try not to throw everything all over the floor. Right, so we have this month's uh, scroller sticker. Right, and this month's challenge is Where Rivers Flow. So that'll be um, interesting. Take yourself mentally or physically to a place where rivers flow, woodlands flourish, and valleys meet. This month's box is inspired by our, by our featured artists' love for exploring the beauty of the great outdoors. Play about with sweeping, scraping and scribbling your pastels to form tactile textures and fine details to your artwork. Oh, that should be a, an interesting um, thing to give it a go. Right, so first thing that we've got um, there's a box of sennelier oil pastels and there are six in there and we've got some oil pastel sheets that um, actually come with the pastels as well so they're, they're all in that little package as well as the, uh, the pad of paper that we've got as well so let's have a look for the oil pastels we've got white, black, yellow gold, yellow ochre, charcoal blue and light green. So um, so they should be interesting, we should be able to make some good colour combinations out of them. Uh, these highly pigmented artist grade oil pastels are made with the top quality mineral and organic pigments mixed. They offer a smooth and creamy texture with high coverage and they can be applied to a variety of different surfaces including canvas, paper, metal, wood, stone and even glass. They're so versatile. Apply directly to your surface or blending with your fingers. Even mix and apply with a brush or a cloth. The possibilities are endless. Be prepared to get messy with these pastels and don't be afraid to get stuck in. And the recommended retail price of that look at this little packet is um, Twelve ninety five per set. Uh, right next up, we've got a Stedler Lumograph Five B pencil, and it's already sharpened, which is nice. I won't have to uh, rummage about for a sharpener. Uh, this premium quality pencil is ideal for all of your drawing, writing, and sketching needs. It features a super bonded lead, which makes it particularly break resistant. It is easy to erase and sharpen and makes for a brilliant addition to your ever-growing pencil collection. And yeah, that's uh, that's not wrong actually. I was uh, organising some of my supplies earlier this week and this is what I've got up to so far. And this is this is just the the, the ordinary pencils. Uh, that I've had in various boxes. Um, 
the irony of it is, if I'd have kept everything in the boxes that they, that they arrived in, I could have just stored them in a drawer. Um, I've got, how many have I got? Uh, two, four, six. I've got about eight or nine jars uh, just with um, <laughs> pens, pencils, um, paintbrushes, markers, uh, and there's a jar for each thing. So you saw the one with the with the pencils. I've got one with coloured pencils, uh, one with fine liners, another one with um, the the fat markers in, another one with thin pens, one with brush tips. It goes on and on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what if you do? Don't do that because you'll run out of room because your house will be taken up with jars. Keep them in the boxes. They store much easier in drawers. <laughs> so anyway, yes, onward. Uh, and this pencil is recommended retail price is one pound eighty five. Right, and we've got a Derwent artist eraser for all your erasing of artist needs. Not really. <laughs> Just bad joke. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, this is a high performance non abrasive special artist eraser from Derwent. An ideal pairing with the 5B pencil. It is great at removing and absorbing darker and denser strokes of graphite. It also easily erases soft coloured pencil. It is made from non toxic and latex free ingredients, and the recommended retail price of that on its own is £3.49. Right, next up, we've got a wooden stylus scratcher, which is this little fella, looks a little bit like a, an orange stick you might get in a, um, a nail care kit. Uh, but it says this handy wooden stylus scratcher is fantastic for creating texture in your artwork. Sanded smooth and polished for safe use so no need to worry about splinters. It is also specially designed with a tapered end that is perfect for detailed and controlled scratching and scoring. And the recommended retail price of that is 50 pence. Next up we've got a double-ended blending stump which is this fella here. And it says another convenient little tool to use with your oil pastels designed to help you create seamless transitions and blends without having to use your fingers. It features high precision tips that are great for controlling your blends, keeping them clean, crisp and smooth. And the re recommended retail price for this stone is £1.29. And lastly, we've got this month's um, artist pad. And so it's an A5 pad, uh, 250 grams, 10 pages. And it says this super smooth, crisp white card is the perfect base for your oil pastels. It's double sided and uncoated, ready for all of your colourful creations. With 10 sheets, you should have plenty for swatches, sketches, and final projects. And the recommended retail price of this is two ninety nine. Let's have a look at the feel of the paper. Oh, it's nice. The sheets are fairly thick, so there shouldn't be any sort of bleed through. And it's um, the paper itself is untextured. You know, like I've said before, um, with um, watercolor paper. Um, and certain other papers, they can have a bit of a texture to them to help um, with the absorption of the water and things. But this is really nice and, and very smooth, so that's going to be quite nice to use, quite tactile. Right, so that's it for this box. So I was going to show you what I did with last month's stuff, wasn't I? As I said, I found that I'm not really very good at 
drawing flowers from photos. Um, I've got quite a few flowers in the garden, different types, and so I took photos of them. I can't show you because they're, they're on the phone that I'm using to film this. Um, but I thought, yeah, for the um, for the in bloom theme, me doing something with these will actually be really good, and it should come out really nice, and it it'll look really nice in my head. Uh, but not quite as much when I uh, put it to paper. Um, okay, so this this first one, I say because it was inks. Uh, what I was doing with that, this this was just like a bit of a, a, a trial sheet and it isn't actually meant to symbolise anything. It's it's not something that's got an idea behind it, it's not following a theme. Um, but what I did was I put, um, put a water wash over the paper and just basically dripped the inks on and squished them about a bit with the paintbrush. Uh, just to see what it felt like to use them and then I was going to try and make something out of that but it, it kind of went a bit pear shaped and I gave up on it uh, that's another one that I was just kind of making up as I went along um, and then I kind of got that this idea in in my head. Uh, this isn't taken from anything. It's not a picture that I've copied from somewhere. It's just one that that I, I that I thought of. Um, and then there's a there's a couple that I tried to do from the photos. You can't you can't even really tell what what this one is meant to be. It just looks to me. It just looks too abstract. It, it is actually meant to be a rose and on the photo itself it looks lovely but unfortunately my work doesn't reflect the photo and then I was going to have a go at doing um, a picture of one of the passion flowers that I've got growing out the front um, we've got a passion flower vine um, and and a jasmine uh, vine bush shrub thing and they they kind of all, all grown in, in intertwined um, and a couple of weeks ago I saw that the, some of the passion flowers have come out so I drew one with the intention of painting it but then when I looked at what I drew I thought it's just not going to work and I left it like that so yeah that's my attempt at, at doing at going for the in bloom theme and finding that I'm actually not really good at all at doing flowers from photos which is a bit of a pity because they'd have turned out quite nice if um, my pictures would have looked anything like the photos but yes that's it for me for the August 2022 scroller box I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video Please, if you have enjoyed it, you know, drop me a like. If you haven't, drop me a thumbs down, you know, you do what you want. Uh, I don't tell you, you make up your own mind. Um, if you'd like to see more of the videos that I make, uh, you know, do subscribe to this channel. And if you click on the bell icon and click on the the top box that comes up on that little menu you'll get all my videos as they come through and you'll get my older ones popping up on your feed as well and then you know if you want to see them they're there um if you want to drop me a comment please do you know I'm, I'm open to what people say and i will try and get back to you in a timely fashion uh, now time is creeping along I've been doing this video for nearly 20 minutes and uh, it's probably about time I get to bed um, so yeah my name's Jean and it is mostly unboxings that I do on this this channel uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it um, look after yourselves and take care of each other as well it's still a bit of a weird world out there 
and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.